Hi, I'm Barbara Schwartz, Chief Magic Maker at AccuWeight Loss The Bead Diet. I'm here today in my kitchen because people have been asking me for years, how do I make the Anytime Chocolate Pudding? Now first let me say the recipe is right at our website and you'll actually see at the moment it's on our homepage. You'll see all different kinds of recipes that our clients have made right there on the home screen. And um, you can just click on that or go to the recipes page and look under Anytime Treats. This is so simple to make that my seven-year-old makes it with me. She's at school right now, so she's not here, but she loves it so much. We make it at least once a week. And what's great is once you've made the chocolate pudding, you can freeze it and it makes our little Accu bonbons. And this is two great ways to enjoy guilt free chocolate anytime. So let's start with the basics. This is so simple, there's just six ingredients. We're gonna use unsweetened cocoa. In this case, I'm using an organic cacao powder. Um, it's quite strong, um, but really tasty, and I love going organic. I often use the Giardelli cocoa, but keep in mind, you're gonna get the flavor of the cocoa that you use. So if you're using a lower end chocolate like a Hershey or Nestle's, it's gonna be a less rich pudding. It's gonna be a less rich bonbon. When you're using something very intense, like a cacao powder or your, your Belgian and European cocos, you're gonna get a much stronger, um, richer tasting pudding and a richer tasting bonbon. So ingredient number one, cocoa. Ingredient number two, our thickening agent, xanthan gum. This is a zero calorie, all natural, plant-based thickening agent. You'll find it in a lot of packaged foods. It's what gives things substance. So we're gonna use a, just a little bit of xanthan gum to give our pudding the actual gelatinous texture of pudding, that kind of thick texture. Um, I'm using Truvia. Um, we call for a quarter cup. I'm using a little bit less because I don't like my things so sweet. So this is just Truvia. Um, but you can use any kind of zero calorie sweetener that you like. We're going to use vanilla. Again, I like to use high-end Madagascar vanilla. As I mentioned with the cocoa, you're going to, again, the quality of the ingredients going in is going to really impact your end result. So I like to use high-end vanilla. You're gonna use a little pinch, about an eighth of a teaspoon of salt. I use pink Himalayan salt. And last but not least, ingredient number six, water. So nice and simple, our six ingredients. It's two tablespoons of unsweetened cocoa, a quarter cup of zero calorie sweetener. And again, adjust that to your personal taste. We're going to be using eight ounces of water, just one teaspoon of xanthan gum, half a teaspoon of vanilla extract, and just an eighth of a teaspoon of salt. It's that simple, those are the ingredients. Now what I'll tell you is with the cocoa, it works best if you sift it first. So I just use a little simple kitchen, kitchen sifter, and I start with my cocoa, and we're gonna get two tablespoons. So I just get the first tablespoon, you know, clumps up a little bit. Oops, that's going to be fun cleanup later. Um, clumps up a little bit in the bag. Let me just get some loose cocoa. So we just do one tablespoon. And, oops, two tablespoons of cocoa. And again, I just gently sift it through. So we're gonna get out all the lumps, and this is gonna make, make a nice smooth pudding. So I just use a teaspoon. I use a little demi tasse spoon. I find it easier to manipulate. And I just push it through the little sieve. And this way I know my cocoa is nice and smooth. Now you should mix this in a microwave bowl. We're gonna use the microwave. I'll say my colleague Darcy tells me that she's come up with a version of this where you don't need the microwave. So I'm pushing her to get that to me too. So we'll share that sometime in the near future when I know how to do that. I think she's using an immersion blender. Um, so again, all I did was sift the cocoa. And now we're gonna whisk, whisk together all the dry ingredients. So I'm gonna add my sweetener. We're just adding one teaspoon. Oops. 
It's a new Xanthan gum. There you go. I'm adding one teaspoon of Xanthan gum. I happen to like, by the way, this Now brand. One of the reasons I like it, I like this container. Um, xanthan gum coagulates, it thickens, and it, it gets thick very quickly. So if it gets damp, um, it starts to coagulate. Like this bottle will last me, you don't use very much in ingredients, it'll last me about two years. Um, a lot of times it's sold in little plastic bags. That always makes me a little nervous that uh, you can get some moisture in the kitchen. And then the last dry ingredient is we're gonna use a quarter, sorry, a one eighth teaspoon. I don't have an eighth teaspoon, so I'm using a quarter teaspoon. So do about half of that to add just that pinch of salt. And then all we're gonna do is, okay, here's my whisk. I, use, I have a little mini whisk. You can use a bigger whisk if you don't have. And you're just gonna whisk together all of those dry ingredients. This is my daughter's favorite part is using the whisk and getting everything just nicely mixed together. And the next step, this does take some patience, is we're just gonna add in the water. And you wanna do this slowly so that the ingredients can absorb the fluid. So you're just gonna very slowly be adding it in. And just keep whisking it up. And you're just gonna get all of these nice dry ingredients. We're gonna get them nice and moist. What happens, I'll show you, is if you pour it too fast, it just kind of, the liquid just floats around a little bit and just doesn't absorb very quickly. So that's the reason you're just gonna add a little bit at a time and get it to a nice thick consistency. And then just keep adding in your water just keep whisking it in. And again, we're using a total of eight ounces of water. I do wanna say thank you to client Michelle. Um, she had submitted a water, several years back, she submitted a recipe for a dairy version of the chocolate pudding. Um, and it was so delicious. I thought, what a shame that we can't have this any time because all the ingredients except for the milk can be used any day, any time on AccuWeight, and it really becomes almost a no calorie treat. Um, the only calories in here really are from the cocoa. So even when not on a weight loss plan, um, you know, a serving of pudding, and it's here, it's the rich, thick cocoa, so it's delicious tasting, it's only about 15 calories. So it's a really guilt-free treat any time. Um, so what I did is, if Michelle hadn't submitted that, I wouldn't have had the idea, because I just said, let me see what happens if I do this with all water and I leave out the dairy. And uh, you know what happens is the difference is kind of between a milk chocolate and a dark chocolate version of the pudding. So we're just mixing it up. Keep mixing it. And again, I still have quite a lot of water to add in. So that's where it, this takes time. Again, this is my daughter's favorite part. She's like, oh look, we're making like a, uh, Almost like playing out in the mud, except that it's fun and it's food and it's playing in the kitchen. And that's such a good time. And I know how many of you are chocoholics, because I know I like a little bit of chocolate in the evening, something sweet, especially somehow I'm working late, my daughter's in bed, 10 o'clock at night, all of a sudden I want a little something. You know, I used to sit down to a chocolate bar, that's how I gained my weight in the first place. Um, this is really no guilt, and as you saw, we're using high-end cocoa. So you're getting all of that great cocoa taste and none of the guilty none of the guilty sugar. So again, whisking it together. And as long as we're here, let's talk about a little bit again this water and keeping hydrated, right? Um, I'm here in New York City. We're having this crazy weather. I'm talking to all of you guys all the time about keeping hydrated. So keep that water coming. So the nice part is we're adding some water in here. That's one of our ingredients. So it's got a little bit of hydrating uh, that's coming to you while you're enjoying your pudding. And if you have other recipes or other favorite chocolate treats that you like to enjoy, we'd love to hear about them. Um, so definitely submit them in. I think in the near future, we're gonna be holding a recipe contest, so watch for that. Also, this is our first um, how-to video on how to make a recipe. 
So if there's one that you'd like to see us make, please write into us here at our Facebook page or you can reach me at barbara at accuate.com or you could submit it directly to recipes at accuate.com. Um, we have over 500 recipes that our clients can enjoy while on program and that list is expanding every day because of your creativity. So we love that, keep it coming. Um, oh, actually a client, I haven't tried this yet. One of my clients told me that instead of just using all plain water, um, she was using some flavored water um, to give this some taste, uh, a different variety of taste. So for example, a lot of people like chocolate with orange. Um, so she was using an orange flavored water as her base and it just gave it another twist. Um, I have not tried using a different, I'm just gonna pour the rest of it in and mix it up. So again, as you can see by putting a lot in, all the water's sitting on the top. So that's why you go a little bit at a time, but for you to see what's going on, it's not hurting it. It just means it's gonna take a little patience to get it to mix in. And then there we go. So we have a nice, it's got a, a little texture already, but we've got a nice liquidy chocolate that is gonna turn into our pudding. So I just get a few of the lumps out. Now, here's the trick that Michelle, thank you again, came up with, which is this is gonna take three minutes in the microwave, but we don't want it to bubble over or burn. So we're gonna stop the microwave every 30 seconds and we're gonna stir. We're gonna whisk the pudding right in the microwave. So I'm gonna start by putting this, the whole bowl right into the microwave. Now, I don't know if you could see, that is a regular soup, like a regular soup bowl, how much pudding we're actually making. So mine just has an add a minute function. So I'm gonna just put in for three minutes and I'm gonna keep a little eye on the microwave and I realize I'm gonna just get out my ramekins so I can get ready to put the pudding. It's always good to have it in something appetizing. Um, right, presentation is everything. So we're gonna keep an eye on the microwave. That's already 15 seconds, so it goes very quick. So you do wanna hang out while it's in the microwave. Don't wait for it to beep at you. Um, I'm not sure what it is, but I will say that you do wanna set the microwave to three minutes and stop it every 30 seconds. I don't know if microwaves, this is where I'll say I'm not technologically that and all I did again, if you could see, is I'm just whisking it, so I'm mixing it around, and then I'm just going to hit start. So we're at 2.30, and we're going to let it count down another 30 seconds. I believe microwaves, when you put them on for a longer time, might be a little stronger. I will say doing it 30 seconds at a time doesn't give the same effect as starting at 3 minutes and stopping it every 30 seconds. So there must be something in microwave technology that may be the strength of it is a little different when you put it on for shorter amounts of time. So we are gonna keep an eye. We're already at five, four, three, two, and open the door again, and just whisk it up. And again, what happens when it's in the microwave, it gets, it rises a little bit, so we don't want it coming out of the bowl. And most importantly, we don't want it to burn. So we're gonna keep stopping it every 30 seconds. We're mixing it up, and this way all of it is thickening and if you were standing here in the kitchen with us because mm, it's warm i already smell the chocolate and i will tell you that obviously if we put this in the fridge it makes a great pudding you can have any time um, it's so delicious it's rare that it makes it all the way into my refrigerator um, we just like enjoy it while it's even still warm uh, so i'm down another 30 seconds and if you can see it's really starting to thicken up and be pudding. And three more to go. So we're down at one minute and 30 seconds, so we're halfway there. And um, as you can see, again, I like to use Himalayan salt. Himalayan and sea salt are really healthy salts, um, have a lot of health properties associated with them. You know, iodized salt, there's a lot of controversy about what it can do in our body. So you could be using regular table salt, but the pink salt has lots and lots of benefits. Um, I'm going to mix one more time. I'm going to tell you a little more about Himalayan salt. 
I need to mix that up. Mm, it's getting rich and creamy, and it smells awesome. I think I'm going to indulge. Okay, so next 30 seconds. So a little bit about Himalayan salt. There's something called a Himalayan salt inhaler. Um, for any of you who suffer from allergies or asthma, it's a great little inhaler that you put in your mouth. You breathe that through your nose. You do it for five minutes, once, two, three times a day. And it can actually really help clean out the sinus cavity. It can help um, open up the bronchioles. So it can be a wonderful natural relief for people who have allergies and it is allergy season. So people suffering from allergies and asthma, um, Himalayan salt has a lot of healing properties. Whoops. So we are at 24 seconds. I went over and I don't know if you could see, it was starting to get really tall because I missed that 30 second mark. Um, but the good news is it didn't bubble over and we are on our last countdown to pudding. So exciting. So making the pudding is this simple. It's just mixing together some very simple, all natural ingredients. Um, again, keeping it simple, but Things like sifting your cocoa powder does make for a uh, smoother and richer pudding. Um, who knew something so simple could make a difference? Um, using a whisk versus a spoon gets the air in there and really helps. So I don't know if you can see, actually I'm gonna grab a paper towel. I don't have my oven mitts at hand because that bowl is hot. And I'm gonna bring it out. And I don't know if you can see, but that, is pudding really 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 yummy now obviously it is very very hot right now but then what i like to do is i have just some dessert ramekins and what i do is we spoon it for a nice presentation this is what you'll see on the website because you'll we'll have seen the photos on the website are pudding that my daughter and i made so you will recognize the ramekins. And I mean, look at how much, right? Um, serving size, like this is a nice size dessert ramekin. So this will make a few ramekins worth of pudding. So uh, there's quite a lot from just making one that can last you. Again, you can uh, refrigerate it. Now, the other thing we love to do, and this is a real treat, is, you know, for a few bucks on Amazon, we buy a few silicon candy molds. And what we do is we're going to scoop the chocolate pudding into the candy mold and we're going to put it in the freezer. And that's going to make our little chocolate Aki bonbons that really taste like fudgicles. So they're also a really wonderful guilt-free treat. So what I do is I just use the spoon and I scoop it in. And let's get that in. And this today I'm making hearts. My daughter will love that because I'm working late tonight. For those of you who are in New York City, I'm just getting ready to head over to the office. I'd love to see you. Definitely stop into our Times Square location. And for those of you who go to Paramus, I'm really excited to tell you that we have, in a way, gone home. Um, my father, Dr. Schwartz, who's uh, one of the founders of Accuate, his mentor, Dr. Chu, had a company called Northern New Jersey Pain and Rehab. And that was his home base. And um, we have just moved in with Northern New Jersey Pain and Rehab in Paramus, New Jersey. So that is at 37 West Century Road, Suite 111. So for those of you who go to the Paramus location, we did relocate. Today is our first day. And we're really excited because it's coming home to be with Dr. Chu's team. And, uh, you know, it, it's coming home. You know, I, my dad is just so excited to bring Dr. Chu's energy um, back into AccuWeight loss at that level. So it's really nice to be back with our team. And uh, again, I will be in the Manhattan office myself until 8 p.m. tonight. So if you're in New York City and you're thinking about joining AccuWeight, today's a great day. There's no time like the present. And if you haven't done it in a while, pop in and see us. It's, you know, it's not too late to lose those excess pounds uh, before summer.
is uh, as we know it's in the 60s today so it may be june but summer hasn't quite hit here in new york city maybe a few days we've had it but nothing consistent so we still have time to get beach ready so take advantage so i'm going to stop here so you can see but um, so I'm going to stick this in the freezer, and I have some that my daughter and I made the other day. So I'm going to show you what they are. We used an ice cube tray, so they're a little thicker. Now, in this kind of tray, it's going to take at least overnight, possibly 24 hours to fully freeze. So keep that in mind. They're still hot because um, I just made the pudding. So I'm just going to stick those in my freezer. And I'm going to take out the, the Acumon ones that we made the other day. So we just used an ice cube tray, you can see. Some were already eaten, and you just pop them out. And when I say it's a nice, whoops, <laughs> getting it on my fingers, but it's a nice solid candy. And mm, again, we made this with the cacao powder. Um, that is rich. That is awesome. That's going to take time to eat. And this whole candy has maybe about two calories. So when you're back in a calorie world and you're looking at your maintenance, what a great guilt-free way to enjoy your chocolate. So um, anyway, thank you for joining me today. That's how to make our anytime chocolate pudding. And I'm gonna say now it's cooled down enough that I can say, hmm, yum. Enjoy that with us and join us at www.accuate.com. And again, keep your comments and questions coming. <laughs> if there's anything else that you would like to see us demonstrate in terms of one of our recipes, shout it out to us. And um, we'll see you back here on Facebook Live. Thank you. I'm Barbara Schwartz, Chief Magic Maker at AccuWeight Loss, The Beat Diet. Lose it, love it, and live it.